Hi guys, Matt from TurboSmart here, and today we're going to get down and dirty into the world of fuel pressure regulators. Now it's no secret that TurboSmart is known for its world leading boost control products. But did you also know that we have a full range of fuel control products as well? Well, we do. So today we're going to go through not only the full TurboSmart lineup of FPRs, FPR just stands for fuel pressure regulator. I'll use those two terms interchangeably in this video. We're also going to get a little bit nerdy on what makes a great fuel pressure regulator while covering the differences between FPRs or fuel pressure regs that are designed for mechanical pumps versus those that are designed for electric pumps as well as high and low pressure fuel pressure regulators. So kick back, relax, grab a cold beverage and follow along as we walk through everything that you never needed to know about fuel pressure regulators. Now, before we even look at any of these products in detail, we're gonna backtrack just a little bit and cover what a fuel pressure regulator is and why we need one on our engine. So, as you've probably gathered by the name, a fuel pressure regulator is designed to keep a constant fuel pressure in the fuel rail. Now, while that sounds like a fairly mundane task, it's actually super critical and important to engine performance because regardless of how much money and time and effort you spend on getting your fuel injectors matched, cleaned, characterized and all that sort of stuff, if you have an inconsistent fuel pressure at the rail, they're going to deliver an inconsistent amount of fuel to the engine. So how exactly does a fuel pressure regulator work? An FBR has two individual chambers that are separated by a diaphragm. Attached to the diaphragm is a valve, and as the valve moves down, it covers the fuel return hole, preventing fuel from returning to the tank. As the valve lifts up, it exposes the fuel return hole, allowing fuel to return. In the top chamber, there's a finely calibrated spring that pushes down on the valve. As the fuel pump supplies fuel to the fuel rail, pressure builds in the bottom chamber, pushing up on the diaphragm against the spring. The lifting valve exposes the fuel return hole, allowing fuel out of the regulator and back to the tank. The opposing forces of fuel pressure on the bottom of the diaphragm and spring pressure on the top of the diaphragm continuously moves the valve to maintain a constant fuel pressure in the rail. So where does boost enter the chat? Well, first imagine a world where we had 40 psi of fuel pressure in the rail and also we had 40 psi of boost pressure in the intake manifold. What do you think would happen when we open the fuel injector? Well, nothing. There'd be no fuel flowing through the injector from the rail into the intake manifold because there's no pressure differential across the injector. And that's what this guy is all about, the pressure reference. So the manifold pressure reference acts on the top chamber alongside the spring to ensure that no matter the intake manifold pressure, the pressure differential across the fuel injector remains constant. Now, if you can imagine that we had our same 40 psi boost pressure as before, but this time we've got the manifold pressure reference hooked up, we no longer just have spring pressure acting on the diaphragm, we also have 40 psi of air pressure pushing the piston down over the fuel return hole, ensuring that the pressure in the rail maintains the same fuel pressure across the injector that it has at idle. Now, I'm gonna stop right here for just a moment. I wanna let you know something. This is one area where not all fuel pressure regulators are created equal. See, TurboSmart FPRs are specifically designed to maintain a one-to-one -one fuel pressure ratio meaning that for every one PSI of manifold pressure applied to the top chamber, you get no more and no less than one PSI of additional fuel pressure in the bottom chamber. Let's just say this is not the case for all aftermarket fuel pressure rigs. The other thing I'm going to point out is that this threaded bolt on the top of the regulator here, if you undo the lock nut, this can make adjustments to the fuel base pressure. Now, people often ask me, what's the best base pressure to run? And I tell everybody the exact same thing, it depends. It really depends on what your fuel injector manufacturer recommends. Now most OEM style injectors, Bosch, Siemens and that style of thing, they're pretty happy with 40 psi. But some people like to crank up that base pressure because they believe that you get better fuel atomization or you might be able to squeeze a little bit more fuel out of the injector at a higher pressure, which is fine. But just remember, when you mess with the base fuel pressure, you mess with the amount of fuel that's getting delivered to the engine, which means it's retune time. So just keep that in mind. And of course, if you adjust the base pressure, make sure you lock that nut again. All right, so that's the basics of how a fuel pressure regulator works. So let's get into the detail of the full range of TurboSmart fuel pressure regulators. And we'll give you a rundown on exactly why we've got so damn many of these things. We'll start with the three basic ranges. We've got our pro range, our standard range, and our low pressure range. So let me start with the standard and the low pressure range because this range of FPRs is basically identical with the exception of the spring that we fit into the upper chamber. On the low pressure variant here, 
we fit a low pressure spring that allows you to set a base fuel pressure as low as 3 psi and up to a maximum of 20 psi of base fuel pressure. This is perfect for low pressure applications like carburetors. Our standard range of FPRs are fitted with a higher pressure spring in the top chamber that allows you to set the base fuel pressure to low of about 35 psi all the way up to 80 psi of base pressure. Apart from the spring, the standard and LP or low pressure range are identical, which means they both come in a full range of sizes. And what I mean by size is the size of the fuel inlet and outlet fittings. On the standard range of FBRs, we have an array of fitting options from a 1.8 NPT to a direct fit OEM Bosch fuel rail fitting for the mighty Barra engine, as well as AN size fitting for Dash 6, Dash 8 and Dash 10. Not only do we have this array of fitting options in our standard range of FPRs, but we've got colours as well for that extra bit of bling in your engine bay. There's this red, blue, purple, black and blacker or sleeper. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, that's cool, you've got all of these regs, but which one do I need for my engine? That's actually easy. Choose the fuel pressure regulator that fits your fuel lines. Now I know you probably wanted a more scientific answer than that, but the reality is the FPR will not be the limiting factor in your fuel system. Even this 1.8 NPT fuel pressure regulator, which has the smallest inlet and outlet fittings of all the range, it can maintain 35 psi of base fuel pressure with over 700 litres per hour of fuel flowing through it. Now, that's more fuel than two Bosch 044 pumps combined can supply. Now, I'm guessing if you're running two 044s, then you've probably also upgraded your fuel lines to more than 1.8 rubber. So that's our standard range of FPRs. They come in a range of sizes, colours and pressure configurations. Choose the one that's the best colour for your engine bay and fits the fuel line that you have. Now, then we move on to the big Bertha range of fuel pressure regulators. This is the pro range of fuel pressure regulators and they only come in black. These guys have been designed for serious engines with serious drinking problems. Physically larger than the standard range, the pro range has an EFI and a mechanical variant and only come in a dash 10 and dash 12 sizing. Being that big, you know these guys mean business. You'll also notice that the Pro FPRs have no less than five inlet ports, which accommodates multiple stages of fuel injectors, even on V8 engines. The Pro FPRs allow for a higher range of base fuel pressures than the standard range as well, with the Pro EFI allowing between 50 and 130 psi of base pressure, and the Pro M, M for mechanical, allowing 50 to 100 psi of base fuel pressure. Now, the Pro EFI unit is fundamentally quite similar to the standard range of FPRs. Now, obviously, they're a little larger physically to account for the five fuel ports on the bottom, and correspondingly, they've got a slightly larger top cap as well. Now, the Pro M is clearly much taller than any of our other fuel pressure regulators. But the question is, why? What's so different about this fuel pressure regulator that requires such a big can? Well, this guy is designed for fuel systems running a mechanical fuel pump. Now, the astute amongst you will know that when it comes to making multiple thousands of horsepower, the old electric fuel pump normally gets ditched in favour of a mechanical pump. Now, mechanical pumps are driven from a pulley on the crankshaft, and they can flow tremendous amounts of fuel, which is great, because you can't make thousands of ponies without a bunch of fuel. However, the issue is, when you get at the end of the track and you let go of the throttle, the engine's still doing 9, 10,000 RPM, and now your EFI system shuts the injectors off to basically nothing. And that is where this guy steps in. The extra long spring in the Pro-M range can lift even higher off the seat and flow even more fuel faster into the return line than the EFI variation. Because the last thing that you want at the end of your record setting drag run is to let off the throttle, have the fuel system overpressurized, blow a diaphragm and vomit fuel in the intake manifold, hydro locking the engine in the shutdown lane. The Pro EFI and the Pro Mechanical range of FPRs will maintain a constant fuel pressure at over 50 gallons per minute of fuel flow at 50 psi. Make no mistake, these fuel pressure regs are built for the big dogs. So there you have it full rundown of TurboSmart's range of fuel pressure regulators. If you've got any questions or topics that you would like us to cover in future videos, then put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, whatever it is you need to do these days on these platforms. And if you think that you know anyone that might benefit from this information, share this video with them. Well, I'm Matt from TurboSmart, and I'll see you next time.